everybody. It's night time and my wife was doing laundry and as you may or may not know we have a well and this is the well here and we have a pump it down inside the well. If you watch my well repair video you'll know that there's a pump down in there that's I wouldn't do it like that but they did it like that so it's not my well. I just rent the house but look up here our tank fell over. This is just like a bamboo shelf here and the ta these little things here broke. This board that went across broke and that fell down and now our tank is leaning. I don't know if you can see leaning very good but it's again it's nighttime. I'm stepping on snail shells but it's leaning back and there's no water coming out and the flow switch is not coming on because it's all out of whack there. So what I got to do is get in here under here you can see this part here it's all down like that and I get a proper board from maybe this board here this cocoa wood board here maybe I can slide it over and put it under there and then prop it up but the first thing you have to do here is we gotta drain that tank because it's heavy and if we're going to be maneuvering anything around here we got to uh this is the drain valve here see right here and it looks like it's been leaking because if you look at this pipe here it's all algae oh yeah see it's pulling out of the it's pulling out of the uh side there it's not pulled out yet though it's still in there so that's good whatever the epoxy or glue they use it's actually stuck fairly well but it looks like it might be coming loose here at this joint here uh, but anyway you can see how that pipe is all bowed out and everything and that goes into the well there and it lifted it up it lifted the pipe up because that should be straight and as you can see it's at an angle with this in this elbow higher than that so that's kind of weird so anyway the pump's not on, so what I'm going to do is uh, open this valve and kind of run back because the water's going to come flying out. And then we will, uh, <clears throat> one way or the other. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all the water. Well, I know why the water's not coming out because it's angled back. Once we angle it forward, then it's going to come out, but there's not much water in there right now so I really kind of need to trim all these trees back I need to get the ladder out here and uh, figure out how we're going to fix this so anyway I will leave this open because as we lean it back it'll lighten it up and then we got to get that bottom part there to raise up and level it back so we are going to get the ladder and we'll be back with more fixing the water the water tank this is where we get our water pressure. So we'll be back with more fixing our water tank, pressure tank on Italian Island. The tower broke. Bye for now. Okay, so here we are. My wife is on the tree and the whale. And we got a bamboo pole here that we're going to try to lift this tank up. You see how it's leaning? Lean, lean. I'm going to try to lift, stand it up straight, move it back that way. And she's going to initially slide this thing under it because there's another piece of wood on that side that looks like it's strong. So she's going to slide this bamboo under there and temporarily prop it up. And we'll see what happens, see if that works. But before that, she may have to pull that piece of wood out right there. See that one right there that I got the light on? May have to pull that, that one out. But we'll see. So... Uh, I'm gonna have to get up there. We're gonna see if we can prop this thing up, and hopefully, got my ladder handy dandy foldable ladder. Everybody in the Philippines should have one of these things, and uh, we'll be back with more. Well, let me go get my tripod. I'll I'll be right back. Okay, we're on. All right, everybody. I'm going up here and trying to bring lean this tank back so that. My wife can slide that bamboo under it and get it back to where it needs to be. And it's about over here is the street. So we have to this tank back.
this light so I gotta go turn the pump off and the light will go off I gotta get configured and now the pump won't turn on but as I pull this this tank forward it's going to uh, drain some more water out so I don't know how much but it'll drain some more out but the whole deal is here my wife needs to uh, all this bamboo is right that doesn't have nails because I got to step in it in a little bit okay I got this up on this board Tape oh, blocking open. the hole up, yeah. and so now it's just air, oh. so there's nothing blocking that hole. And they split the center of this, the knuckleheads split the center of this tank, and uh, so it what stuff can go down inside the center. We need to take that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Duct tape that. Okay, so we temporarily got it where it needs to go with a piece of bamboo. Yeah. The whole tower is still leaning this away, so we need to actually come under here, this side, probably with that bamboo, and then we need to go through that side with a heavy uh, cocoa wood. Okay. So, this thing. Okay, so this. Oh, so this is rolling now. So that's kind of okay. So let's. Uh, yeah, this is rolling. It might not be a, a bad problem here. It may be good. Okay, give me that piece of wood down there. The longest one. The longest the one? one? The longest one. I'll just try to put it under here. Okay. Okay. So this is this is a heavy piece of cocoa wood. I don't know if you know me. Remember me telling you guys about heavy cocoa wood and light cocoa wood? Well, this is the heavy stuff here. This is the, from the center of the tree. Okay. So I'm going to... Here. 
string trying to tie this on the, the, the back. But there's pretty solid. And over there, the you got your cocoa wood. Get that short piece of wood there and see if it'll fit across the these vines because they tickle my leg and make me think of bugs crawling up my leg. Okay, honey, let him go into the bed. Well, on the other side of your bamboo, stick it in there. Up, 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 up. Across to that board. Will it fit? Yeah, it fits. Okay, now it doesn't need to. Okay, so that's barely fitting. Okay, so that barely fits. But that will keep her there. And they got this rope here string tied onto this tank, so I guess the tank doesn't fall completely off of here. But for now, we are uh, temporarily out of the water, I think. We're going to have to fill this uh, tank up and see how it handles the weight. But the weight should press down enough on it that it, uh, here, let's put this one, well, I don't know if we can put that one anywhere. Let me get down under here. So, this is definitely native engineering here that we're doing for now. So this board here should come up and go on it's that bad, one. Yeah. I don't know what happened to it, why it fell down, but I'm going to try to See, the thing about it is that'll push it up, this one up, and I don't need that one if I got this one, but I don't think I'm going to deal with that one right now. I don't think I'm dealing with it. I'm just leaving it there because we already got this one, and this one's very strong. Uh -huh. The one you put over there is very strong. Yeah, and the bamboo too. And that backboard's very strong, and I, this feels very strong. So, like I said, if you get wood from the... Honey, don't touch things. Uh -huh. If you get wood from the outer part of the coconut tree it's hard like steel i mean literally hard as steel hard as iron uh and i'm i mean putting nails in it you can't put nails in, in it or uh, nothing so i'm going to turn on the pump now can i get off now uh let me leave this valve open and see if we can flush some of the dirt out or the leaves out okay. so you just hang loose there you gotta see water coming out here any minute. Check for leaks too. So we can check for leaks. We got the pump on now. So you should start seeing water come out of... Well, you can't see the valve. Unless I turn it down some here. Let me... Whoops, wrong way. There. See, it's pumping that out. So I'm just trying to wire. There was a bunch of leaves from these trees. The top of the tank has a, they split it in half. And there's a gap in there where the leaves fall into the water. Well, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to shut this off. This is our, our bleed valve here. Okay. Now, we'll fill this thing up. Now the tank is actually going vertical. So that's enough. Put that back, whoops, wrong way again on the gimbal here. Right there, the tank is actually vertical now. So, uh, we'll let it fill up with water and see how it handles the way it should handle it just fine because we got that cross beam going here. It's propped up on the corner of this bamboo, which is questionable at best, but it's propped up on the corner post of the fence over here on this side I don't know if you can see my hand but over here there's the corner post of the fence and it's a concrete you know eight inch square concrete uh, post so it's not going nowhere so temporarily and I'm looking for leaks at, at the bottom of the tank right here where they epoxied it and it's not really leaking that I can see although something's been leaking down here because you see algae growing out of that connection there so we'll let that leak drip leak whatever the slow leaking is until 
tomorrow and when we can really see everything and kind of get a, a better fix on this but our whole plan is to uh, uh, replace that bamboo with a one inch GI schedule 40 pipe which is the heavy duty stuff and then crossbar it up you know like we got all these crossbars here and a real platform there it's going to be a triangle shape maybe maybe I'll do a square one I don't know but this one is a triangle here this has got three legs the current stand but you can see the bamboo's angled over here this one's curved and bending and it's kind of rotten in this section here this one here might be okay it's tied to the tree over there and it's leaning against the wall uh, here I can I know you guys can't see this but where my light is there it's leaning against the wall and it's tied to the tree it's all jerry-rigged up to uh, not fall down but uh, I think we're actually good to go right now I'm going to take the uh, camera off of the gimbal here whoops I'm going to turn my gimbal off or else it just goes completely berserk there it is. that's the power button Alrighty, can't gimbals off. It's not trying to control things anymore. And we are filling up the tank, and as you see, it looks vertical. Vert, vert, more vertical than it's ever looked in its life, as far as I've known. I've lived there, I don't know, not a year, but still, what you can see is in here. See that piece there, broken? Right there's all broken. That's broken. All the cross bracing uh, snapped. At some point and made the tank fall that away lean that away of course they didn't fall off in into the road because on the other side of that wall there see that wall is the road and it would have fell into the road it does have a little safety <laughs> rope going from the bamboo or the bro or the cocoa wood there up to the top to uh, act like it's uh, going to somehow <laughs> keep, keep it in place but anyway at least uh, it'll still be tied to the rope if somebody comes by and goes, oh, I found a barrel, and then they try to grab it. Well, there's a rope tied to it over the fence. So anyway, <laughs> it just uh, the pump just ceased to uh, pump, which means that the float valve uh, kicked in, and it's working fine. So right now, we are temporarily back in action. And this is the kind of stuff you got to watch out for here because nothing... I mean, even building houses here, I mean, it's, it's, uh, they really don't, uh, plan for this stuff to last forever. But basically what we did was we put this two by two cocoa wood in and this little piece of bamboo initially to support it while the tank was empty. But the cocoa wood, that's the heavy part. The problem is, my wife didn't tell me it's on the very edge of that. We need to move it under there. So that's a problem. And the bamboo is holding the majority of the weight. And that cocoa wood is only on the lip of the tank there. See right there, it's just on the very lip, the very outside lip. It's not even on the bottom of the tank, which is here. See, it curves and goes over to the lip there. And uh, so it isn't even there. So it looks like it'll be okay this little bamboo stick we have here is a pretty sturdy piece of bamboo and bamboo horizontally isn't as strong as people make it out to be vertically with weight coming up and down it's okay and uh, dimension uh, twisting like that is pretty much okay but horizontally is its weakest uh, thing so as you can see from this side this is the broken piece right there right there and when that gave way everything came humpty dumpty uh, <laughs> almost fell off the wall tonight so anyway we are done for now i'm not going to mess with it anymore because it's dark and it's like 1 a.m or midnight uh, my wife was doing laundry and she noticed the water quit uh, running and that was a signal something's wrong either the float switch stopped working or something more serious and obviously it was something a little more serious however it was easy to fix with a couple of pieces of uh, cocoa wood and a bamboo 
uh, stick. So, jungle technology is hard at work on the Italian island. And we'll be back with more of your favorite jungle technology from my paradise on Bentayan Island. And Humpty Dumpty is alive and well. Bye for now.